So we have a new authentication series coming out very soon and I'm just going to take this opportunity to go through it, show you what's included, talk a little bit about what it's based on and what kind of packages that we're using to bring this together and also some of the benefits of this new system um, amongst other things. So before we get started, uh, let's go ahead and just take a look in the database because this gives away a lot of clues about the kind of features that are involved. And then we'll also talk about how we're managing our database as well, which is really important. So we obviously have a users table and we also have a users permissions table. And uh, we obviously have permissions within this uh, system as well. So you can create different permissions. So for example, is admin, you can choose any uh, columns here you can add to this and you can go ahead and give users specific permissions for now we're just focusing on is admin uh, but of course you could add more so under the users table we've got everything we normally expect so a username email uh, these columns here first name and last name are just things that a user can add to their profile you can add to this and output this and update this super easily it's really easy to do uh, we have active and active hash so we're we're giving uh, the users the option to activate their account, not rather than giving the, op the users the option, you have the option to allow activations or not. So uh, you can uh, turn that on and off pretty easily. We also have password recovery. So if a use user forgets their password, they can enter their email address and uh, go ahead and uh, not have a password emailed to them, but they can reset their password. That will just redirect them back to your app. Um, and what we're using to manage our database is Eloquent ORM, which is basically an object relational mapper, which sounds more complicated than it is. Um, it comes from Laravel, and we're gonna be pulling that in as a dependency as part of this project. And all this means is that we can create models around our tables. So for example, users is a model, user permissions is a model, and then we can just link these together really easily using relationships between models. And this makes it extremely easy to extend your application. So for example, if you wanted to add private messaging, you would have models for this based on tables and you could uh, link these to different users and just use that to output messages. It, it just makes it a whole lot easier. There obviously is a little bit of a learning curve, but it's really worth it. So the whole application, which I probably should have mentioned before, is based on a PHP framework called Slim and we're using version two for this. And uh, this, again, takes a little bit of a learning curve, but it makes your application structure a whole lot better. So you can add uh, routes, which are essentially just going to be uh, different pages, I guess, in your application or, or different uh, uh, the ability to send uh, data through to different routes and process them how you want. And that just breaks things up really nicely. But we'll be learning about them in the series and we'll go into a lot more depth. So why don't we register a user and just actually see how this works. So obviously we've got nothing in our database. I go over and just register an account. So I can just enter my email address, enter a username, choose a password. Now we do actually have um, validation here as well. We're using a package called Violin, which I created, um, but you can switch this out for any other validation you want to use. And the validation is also hooked up to our database so we can easily check if the email or username or any other field has already been taken, etc. So let's hit register and we go through. So we get a message here, you have been registered. Uh, we're flashing messages here, so it's really easy to include this maybe in a top bar if you wanted to add this into your design so it's entirely flexible. Uh, so let's head over to the database then and you can see that that has been created. We obviously have a null for first and last name because we didn't give that in the registration process, but you can add that in and it just adds them in for you, super easy. So uh, currently not active, this would have sent me an email, but I'm not gonna go over that. I'm just gonna set active to one manually here. And also in the permissions section, it's created a permissions record for this user. And we can toggle this on and off or any other columns we decide to use. And that's easily checked within your application as well. So let's go ahead and log in. So we'll go ahead and log in the details I just registered with, hit log in. And there we go. So you can see I've got a little avatar up here. This is coming from Gravatar, which is a, a service that allows uh, users to upload an image and then tie it to their email address. We're not gonna be looking at uploading profile photos because it is a bit of a hassle. Um, and this is a very popular solution, which I'd highly recommend you integrate because it's so popular now. 
it just allows users to take one avatar across all of different sites that they use essentially. So the couple of options we've got here, home, which is just the home page, we can log out, we know what that does. Uh, we can view our profile here. So at the moment, we've just got my email address being displayed. Uh, you could just as easily add an option in uh, the update profile, which we'll look at now to uh, show different profile settings, it's entirely up to you. But here we can go ahead and enter a name and hit update and that updates our settings. So it now changes up here to hi Alex Garrett. And we have um, methods on the model on the user model that allow us to get like the user's full name or if they don't have a full name, it will return their username. So again, entirely flexible. Um, and if I head back to my profile, it gives me my full name as well. So we can change our password as well. So we can enter our old password, a new password. Again, this is all validated as well. Change that goes ahead and changes my password. Uh, we've got a list of all users as well. So I can just click on that and go through that's accessible by anyone. And we can go ahead and look at the admin uh, permission as well. So if the admin permission is on, we can give the user the ability to access certain areas. You can see here that it's now added admin here, which we can easily check. And also there's this admin area here. So an example of an admin protected page. So this does look pretty simple, but like I said, the structure of this application is uh, in such a way that it's going to allow you to add uh, a lot more to this. You can customize pretty much anything really easily. Uh, it's split out, so it's fairly simple to just go in and look at. We're using uh, Twig for our template engine, so you can go ahead and implement your own templates really easily as well. There's no requiring in of different files, so we're not gonna end up in a mess. Everything here is just going to be as clean as possible. It's still very simple and uh, it, it just works. So this is what's coming up. If you do have any suggestions, things that you think absolutely should be included in this, go ahead and pop them in the comments below and I'll try and address them before the series comes out. But otherwise, uh, we can just take requests and update this series and uh, make it uh, a really good system to work with. So I hope you enjoy the series when it comes out. Feel free to comment below on anything you think should be included.